Greetings! We are glad to present the series of webinars about Trans Analytics functionality. Learn more about Trans Analytics features and how it helps to transform the IoT data into value for informed decision making. Let's start exploring Trans Analytics functionality with creating a simple table. To do that, navigate to Create View section and choose the table from the drop down menu. In this video, we will investigate the smart metering use case. In simple table mode, you should drag and drop fields only into the columns section. So each field represents a column. First, we will add the list of energy meters together with the apartments and buildings where they are installed. Now we are able to analyze energy consumption applying different levels of detailization. Let's analyze the yearly consumption per apartment. To do that, add energy consumption field into the columns section and define aggregation type sum. Choose the previous year as the range for the investigation. For the rapid distinction of the raw data while building the table, you can configure the default sorting order for the columns. To do that, navigate to Settings section and apply the default order of sorting, descending or ascending. Moreover, we can easily compare the consumption on the building's level. To do that, we will delete the list of energy meters and apartments. Now we can analyze and compare the energy consumption per building. Let's investigate the consumption of energy only by empty apartments. We can use any telemetry or attribute as a filter in trance. Please note that the multiple filters can be applied simultaneously. If there is no date field into the columns section, trans will apply aggregation function, in this case it is sum, for the defined time range for the previous year. If the date field is added, the system will split time range into multiple time ranges and apply aggregation to each range separately. So now we are able to compare the monthly consumption by building. We can modify the table to present the data in the more convenient way. So let's move on and create table with dynamic columns. This table modification allows showing the telemetry aggregation as additional columns instead of separate rows. For making that, add the telemetry field into dynamic value section and the date field into dynamic column section with required date grouping. We will use months. Apply color function to easily spot the outliers. On the card of chosen telemetry, activate the color function and choose auto or manual customization. The auto coloring setup implies that the range of values will be automatically divided into four grades and colors will be applied accordingly. Manual coloring implies that the user can assign the specific colors to a set range of values. Let's explore another table mode the table with individual time ranges. To see the bigger picture, sometimes it is useful to compare the values from the different time ranges for the same entity. It will be the building entity in our case. For example, we want to compare the energy consumption for the current and for the previous months. In this case, we enable and select the local date for each of the telemetry field and name the columns accordingly. Note that we can add the same telemetry field multiple times with different local dates. Here are some additional settings for the table graph which can be applied from the settings section. You can customize the width of the column by headers, cells, or screen resolution. You can enable the option to show the total row at the bottom of the table when the aggregation type of telemetry is sum or count. In this case, the system will sum up all the cells values for each column and show the total value. Enable export the table into CSV file once it is needed for the collaborative investigation or reporting. Let's move on to the next visualization.